Hey guys, I wanted to give you a look at uh, the front range cell builder here. This is a little mini system that allows you to play like the big boys and do all your steps in one compact unit. So we've got a bottom board set up here. Just some OSB and some one by twos. And we've got centers, or we've got supports here that match our one, two, three box. If you remember from our other videos, our one, two, three boxes are cut so that you can divide them into thirds, you can divide them into halves, you can do one frame, three frames, four frames, a couple different permeations. You'll notice on this box there are two entrances. And we have a plug that goes here in the back. Box goes on. We then have two queen excluder panels, or division boards, I should say, that slide in and match up with those with the bottom board. They hold three frames. In the this is this here in the center is the queen section. This is where we keep our breeder queen. Got three in the back section. And two or three in the front section, depending on how you're running things. Okay? So, what we're going to do on a weekly basis is... I work front to back, so this would be last week's graphs, the week before, three weeks ago. And this is our timing section. So what we do on a weekly basis, for me I graph mostly on Mondays, which means I, I prep this box on Thursdays. I take out the three week frame, which is going to be all capped, and is and I move it to the other section. Uh, one of the keys here is, in this side here, is to keep foundation so they keep drawing so you always have a fresh frame to move over. Anyway, then we're going to take our target frame. This is the frame we're going to graft off on Monday and we place it right here. This gives the queen open fresh comb to lay in and come Monday, we'll have larva that's the exact right age for grafting. So, a couple hours before we graft, we're going to take the slide board. This is just cut a little skin, a little shorter than our division, so it just drops in next to it and it's held by the frames. We're going to drop it in right there. And that is going to make this front three way section queenless. We then remove the back door and all the forage force is going to come out the back and to the entrance there orientated to um, packing this front section full of bees. So we take out our graft section, brush our bees off, we graft and then we replace it. Between our two frames here we can place our graphs. But a lot of times I will have the frame here already in place because this is where I'm keeping my virgins. So we will have harvested that before this frame here all be capped. So we can pop them off the frame and we can drop them in here to emerge as virgins or at least to keep them safe. We then put our fresh graphs here and drop them in place. Close everything up and leave it for a day. Come back on Tuesday or Wednesday. Make sure our graphs are well started and then we can remove the slide board putting the, the, the entire section back to a single queen right hive and close the back door. So that's Tuesday. The, Wednesday, Thursday, you can come and you can harvest those stored cells 
or you can pick them up on the weekend as virgins and use them. What this does is give you a simple system that you can graft into every week, all season long. And rather than, like a Joseph Clemens, rather than feeding it um, frames of brood, once this sucker gets going, you're going to be harvesting nukes out of it to keep it down to this size and to keep it from getting too big. So once, it, once this system is up and running a little harder, and not necessarily in spring configuration, right? Um, I like to keep that extra frame in there and I, I end up using it to start more cells than finish. So what I do is I have a shim. I'll do a fabric cover over here and we'll drop the shim in. That allows us to put a couple wood supports in there and start two, three bars of graphs at a time and then leave one of them for the finish and take the other graphs out to a, a queen right finishing hive. Anyway, I hope that gives you guys some inf inspiration on a really slick system that'll fit in a small corner of any yard that'll allow you to do a bar of graphs a week all season long and just crank out queens and more importantly learn how to graft if you mess it up it's no big deal you haven't wasted any resources it's still here the next week it's still here the next day it's still here the next month